Hey, we got another Jixer. What's going on? Anyways, let's get to this video. So what's going on everybody? Today is another day, another video. I'm really excited about today's video. I wanna make a review of this bike after 4,000 miles of riding this motorcycle. I bought this motorcycle around 21,000 something miles. Uh, if you wanna see the link to the video, I have two videos on how I bought this motorcycle, what it took for, what decisions I made to buy, uh, to buy this motorcycle. So if you wanna see those videos, the link will be right here. You can click on that. So watch those videos and come back to this video so you guys can have a better understanding of where I stand with this motorcycle so that's one of the main reasons why I'm making this video so people who are buying motorcycles with a lot of miles can have an understanding of what it feels like uh, of buying motorcycle with high mileage because a lot of people tend to not buy high mileage motorcycles which is fine and I don't I didn't either before this but buying this motorcycle just because I had a limited budget and this was the best I could do at the time so it's probably the best I can still do this bike has been absolutely amazing for me. It hasn't costed me anything extra than other than things that I wanted to do it to it personally, which has been amazing. I didn't have to replace anything since I bought this motorcycle for my own sake kind of a deal where I just wanted to get those things done, like the tuning that I did. Uh, all this stuff is already mentioned in the previous video that I was mentioning earlier, but uh, the tuning, I did that on for my own sake, just so I know where my bike stands, so I don't have to worry about, oh, I could have done this, could have done that. So that's one of the expenses that I did. Other than that, I haven't had any expenses on the bike, other than the oil change and all the basic stuff that you have to do, the basic maintenance that you have to do anyways. So that's been one of the best things about it after riding this motorcycle for 4,000 miles. Keep in mind, I changed the oil a lot on this motorcycle in those 4,000 miles just because. Another thing, uh, this buying this bike has really removed the myth uh, that people have about sports motorcycles for me personally a lot of people oh don't buy a sports motorcycle you're gonna get tired of riding uh, being in that position uh, it's too low it's this it's that it's none of that is true to a certain extent I guess some people have keep in mind people have their own opinions this is my personal opinion but for me, I can ride this motorcycle for hours and I don't get any back pain, shoulder pains, anything. In my GS500 that I had before this one, which was more upright, I used to get more shoulder pain and back pains in that motorcycle because it was less comfortable than this motorcycle. And I always have a bag on. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, but I always, 90% of the time when I take the motorcycle out, I always have a bag. Uh, I'm wearing a bag and it does not bother me at all. And it actually feels weird for me to, at this point, it feels weird for me to ride a motorcycle without having a bag on. Another motorcycle, let's go. Look at that dog. Look at that dog, boy. I am so happy. I'm way, I can't express how happy I am that I never bought a 300. A lot of people, probably don't know I don't know if I mentioned it in the other video but uh, first I went to a dealership and I was about to I was about to be one of those people one of those who go to a dealership and see a 300 and be like oh this will be a nice starter bike for me even though it was never it should be never my opinion starter bike for the first time because I already had driven motorcycles since I was like 15 14 15 years old so but I was getting back into riding motorcycles and it's really not that difficult to get back into motorcycle riding and yeah so it's, it's really not a big deal this is another day it's another topic for another day but i'm so glad that i didn't buy a 300 and i have sean to give proof of that sean will be like yeah buying a 300 was a bad option because he was he's the same way as i am because he's been riding the motorcycle since he's been like 14 15 years old uh and you know getting back into riding motorcycle is not really uh, another bike let's go so buying a 300 would have been a disaster for me i would have had to sell it i would have had to spend so much more money than i did for this motorcycle and i would have had less way less of a hi dog what's up dog so the things i have done on this motorcycle since buying this motorcycle First, first day when I bought the motorcycle, I did the oil change. That was the first oil change. Uh, then, after doing that oil change, I rode the motorcycle about, I would say, six to 800 miles. Then I did another oil change myself. After doing that oil change, I went ahead 
and I did tuning of the motorcycle. I got the tuning done where they change the oil chain, they change the filter, they clean the air filter, uh, they check everything, everything is good. That's the, uh, that's the maintenance they're supposed to do on a motorcycle. So that was done. So that's three oil changes. And then after that one, I think I drove that uh, I drove in that oil change about 1200 miles or so and I don't know why I did so many oil changes don't ask even Sean goes like why do you change your oil so much I really don't know but I guess the thing is if you change your oil often it's good for your bike as far as I know and but that was kind of a thing where I was just like I just changed oil so I don't have any explanation for that point uh, but then after that oil change I just changed my oil yesterday no not yesterday two days ago uh, shout out to Sean he helped me doing that uh, actually he did all the work I just watched pretty much I have uh, not I have obviously changed the levers and all the stuff that's mentioned in the previous video but other than maintenance stuff that's all I have done I have haven't had anything else to do with the bike I haven't had to do anything else whatsoever to the bike which has been awesome and knock on the wood that stays the same so the reason I'm saying all these things is it's okay to buy a high mileage motorcycle if it's that's the motorcycle you want and your budget is at that price because if you know a little bit about motorcycles and you can go to the, a place or if you're buying it from a private seller as long as you do as long as you look for the things that you are need to look for such as seeing the oil leaks such as seeing uh any cracks or and all that stuff that that matters if it checks out having a high mileage motorcycle is really not a, is really not one of the worst things that people make out to go oh my god this this motorcycle has been driven 10,000 miles okay that's it it's the end of the life no, this motorcycle can go for a long time if you keep it maintained. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through this curve. I'm not, not, I'm gonna take this turn and I'm gonna be in my second gear and I'm gonna pull real quick and you guys can see how responsive it is. around this area so I gotta be careful I can't I can't get a ticket it's about to be June in three months so it's been about nine months or so since I bought this motorcycle and it's been absolutely amazing I have no complaints so if you guys are looking for more cycles and you want to buy a motorcycle if it's high mileage and you guys got that money it's okay it's okay to buy a high mileage motorcycle and just enjoy it especially if it's your first bike there's no reason to buy an expensive motorcycle and there are absolutely no reason because you're gonna make mistakes in shifting gears you're gonna make mistake make mistakes breaking hard and all that stuff and it hurts more when you have a motorcycle which has which is brand new when you do all that stuff if it's a used motorcycle with high miles on it and you don't spend that much money on it it doesn't hurt as bad so that's one of those things you have to really really care be careful about so I hope you guys enjoyed with today's video I hope you guys subscribe Please hit the like button and leave video suggestions. Leave comment below if you guys agree with me or disagree with me. Um, we're always open to comments. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.